It's a new day! This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Hey, good morning, everybody. We're starting things off with one of the most popular shoe designers in the entire world. Steve Madden is synonymous with fashion and style, but many people don't know about the ups and downs and sacrifices he's endured to build his fashion empire. A new documentary candidly reveals the story behind the brand, told by the man himself. We're very excited to talk with him. Please welcome Steve Madden. How you doing? Great. Yeah, it's great to be here. So your your documentary is called Mad Man, and that's yes. and that's no uh, false advertising. Yes, no. It, I'm very calm now. You're very calm yeah. now, but yeah. but what were you before? You know, when you're <laughs> when you're starting out and you're building a, a business, or you know, you you tend to be so focused that you right. tend to forget about other things and other people and stuff like that. How would you describe your personality? Well, you know, I have it. I, I do. I have an ADD. So I, I, so it's a curse and a blessing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, gives you great focus. It, no, actually, it gives you terrible focus. <laughs> I thought it gave you I, great it's focus. It's the opposite. But you're able to do a lot of things at once. Your yeah. mind is like a television set. So sometimes, it it's helpful in a project like mine. You know, starting mm -hmm. out a business. But no, it's it's tough to focus. And. That wasn't it. I mean, you had you had problems with drugs. You had other things going on in your life, and you were unvarnished in this documentary. What made you want to just put it out there and say, "Yep, that's me. I own it all." Yeah, I had problems with drugs. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I just thought that it would be, um, you know, if there's a guy, a, a guy or a girl, and starting out, and you know, they were having some trouble and that their life's not over and that they could, you know, change. And yeah. and uh, so it was sort of like just to give a little hope out there that you could turn things around. You know, I'm I see a lot you of, did. you know, I do. I see kids like 25, they're out of college and they're flailing in there. So I maybe could reach, maybe reach them. There is a lot of pressure on young people to be perfect. We talk to them about how hard it is to get a job, yada, yada, and they think one mistake in life is over. And I think your story will speak to them yeah. about resilience and yeah. about second chances. Um, so Wolf of Wall Street was the first time that I heard you, you talk saw about that. Yeah, of course yeah. I did. Wow. Everybody did. Wow. And then thought, wait, wait, what is this with Steve Madden? And I, yeah. you know, I didn't know. Yeah. What, how was that for you? So, you know, it was a good film and, uh, I, I you know I didn't really like that f the film came out. It was a part of my life. Um, it was a, it was really a great film, and um, and it was my childhood friends and I and the shenanigans that went with it. Right. I mean, we don't have enough time, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> We know what that what that means. Yes. So okay, don't get mad at me, but uh, prison for three years. For, I know it's astonishing. You weren't supposed to tell anybody for securities fraud, money laundering. Oh um, my. What was that period of time like? Th that was a terrible period. Um, got in trouble with the guys, and you know, being greedy and stupid, and uh, went to prison, and um, you know. Learned a lot about myself. And, What'd you learn? Well, I learned that money isn't everything, mm -hmm. and friendships are important, and not take little things for granted, and and stuff like that. You know, it was it was a, it was a very heartbreaking experience. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, see a lot of well, I can't imagine there. actually. No, you can't. I, was, I I think you're right. But you could it, imagine maybe. I mean, you know, I mean, one I could imagine know. having your freedom taken away. It was. That sounds, I mean, to yeah. me, that seems like the worst thing possible. It but is, let's <laughs> actually. A, yeah. But it's not. The worst, I mean, the worst, th there are worse things, but that's, that's up pretty there. Bad. I'm, I'm up there on the list, yeah. Let's take a look at a clip. Okay. I didn't even think Steve Madden was a real guy. <laughs> I just thought like it was like a brand. Is he from Europe, possibly? He could be gay, but that's all right. I know he was in that movie, Wolf of Wall Street. Steve Madden. <laughs> Madden. Steve. Steve. No, I don't know. I, I don't really know. We don't know anything about him. Right. Who the f is Steve Madden? 
a question answered and a new documentary yes. about the man himself. So you're reaching out to help a lot of people who have been in trouble, been through tough times. Um, I can only guess that that's important to you because you know how it feels, but you're following through and people talk about this sometimes and don't do it. What are these activities and what do they mean well, to you? Well, you know, we're involved with a couple of organizations helping uh, prisoners that come out, try to get them jobs, and some substance abusers and, and things like that. I'm not sure I'm doing much, but I'm doing what I can and uh, trying to be a power of example, if I can. Yeah, well, no, you definitely can. Uh, shoes, how did shoes get started with you? How did you get started with shoes? You know, I, I, um, I worked in a, a shoe store in high school, and that's how I got into shoes. I was, you know, I needed a job, and I was in 11th or 12th grade, and 11th grade, I think I started, and you know, that's another thing I like to tell kids, like, what you do when you're 17 is, like, really important. I mean, what I did when I was 16, 17, it shaped my whole life. I got a job in a shoe store. Yeah. So, you know, everything's important. And uh, I think one of the things is that I like to say to people is that whatever, you know, it, it seems like you, you're starting at the end. You're starting, you know, at the bottom. But, you know, it's important and take that serious and work hard and mm -hmm. be diligent because that's the way to go. You know, that's the way to grow. And I, I notice sometimes with some young kids, they want to like start as the president of the company on the first day. I do notice that. <laughs> I, I do, it's crazy. It's like, they get like, oh, I got to work in a shoe store or they got to wait on a table or anything. All work is good. All honest work is good. Right. I, I think. couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. Couldn't agree with you I more. I really believe that. Talk me through these shoes. These are just some, these are just shoes that we're making this season. They're amazing. Some of the best ones, good picks. Um, I love that they're all so different. I mean, yeah. you've got you've got all these different ideas. This is me over here. Those would this be mine. One. I love We're that. We're known for our combat boots. So yeah, and that's who doesn't great... need a good pair of combat boots, yes. man? So, yes. do you love those? I do. I, I like love them. the the patent leather. I like them a lot. I like it in black leather too. Yeah, they're both great. Yeah. So, when you do you think about a particular woman or event or what sparks some of these ideas? Well, we we try to we make a lot of different types of shoes. We just try to be on trend and of the moment and the shoes are fun and they're priced well. They're not too cheap, but they're mm -hmm. not too expensive. Yep. And people seem to just, they know if we make it, 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 you're allowed to wear it. Just so you know, I've put some money in your pocket. Good. Over the years. I need it. I, I really have. Do you ever try the shoes on yourself? I don't. I, was just I don't curious. try them. They wouldn't fit me. They <laughs> wouldn't fit. But it's funny that you say that because when I, I don't know if we have time, but I, when I was a kid, I worked in a shoe store, it was a long time ago, and they used to have big platform shoes that they sold. This was the 70s. And I was kind of self-conscious about, I was short, but I was kind of self-conscious about it. And I did used to try them, I was like a stock boy. And I would, tr these were big platforms, and I was embarrassed to wear them, but I did try them in the basement. Just, so can I wear this? Just walking around can just I to be, see. Can I do this? I, I was like a, a grubby little kid wearing, like penny loafers, you know. But I'd give some money to see boots, that. Like you know, I turned into like Alice Cooper, <laughs> you know, and uh, I pretended. Oh, that's but, awesome. Um, we that's make men's awesome. shoes, so we try to take that same spirit, and uh, although it's just not as much fun as women's yeah. shoes, yeah. But we, we do. do have we have a great. We have a great men's business. But all right, we'll let people yeah. know about that. Yes. But, Thank you yeah. very much. Thanks for sharing oh, time with us for all the it? work that you do. That's it. I was going to sing. Go ahead. What were you going to sing? No, I'm, I'm if you kidding. could, if you could sing a song, what song would you sing? Oh God, I would sing. Uh, God, what would I sing? Oh my goodness, I would probably do a hip hop song. Really? Yeah. Have a favorite artist? No, I like. I like. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of hip hop. Okay. I think it's fun. All right. Well, maybe we can talk him into coming back after. Yeah, the we'll break do a hip hop. We'll Just do you and me. Yeah, we'll spit. We'll spit some. We'll spit some rhymes, the two of us.
<laughs> That's what great. we're going to do. We're going to spit some rhyme. Spit some rhyme. Uh, you can yes. pre-order a copy of Mad Men on iTunes, and we'll have a link on our website. The movie comes out December 1st, and as you can tell, you don't want to miss it. When we come back, WWE superstar wrestler Natalia jumps in the ring for a round of New Day Hot Topics after a quick break. Yeah.